Welcome uh, welcome to another Blender how-to video. Uh, in this one, we're gonna do how to transfer UVs. And the reason this one is important is because let's say we have uh, we have created a, a, a really cool looking uh, model and it has like one part that we want repeated over and over again. So let's say, um, let's say we have this cube, right? Shift A. And this will be a representation of um, two parts that are pretty much the same, but we're only working on one of them. By some miracle or whatever, uh, instead of mirror, instead of them being mirrored, they're separated into individual parts. And so we now have no choice but to work on them individually. And so we're gonna do the first one get its UV unwrap, uh, uh, do the, the seam work and everything. And once we get it ready, um, we also want to do the same thing for this one, but we don't want to do all that UV seaming, unwrapping. Uh, it's it's really a big mess. And also there's other a lot of other parts here that we're, we're pretending, of course. Uh, there's a lot of other UV unwrap parts aside from this one that I've taken up the entire UV unwrap 2D texture and we don't want to just add another one, uh, another piece because it might lead to uh, overlapping of the UV unwrap parts and that's not good for us. So what we can do is once we finish this part, this, this piece or this part of the UV unwrap, we can transfer it to this other model and when we do so, um, that UV unwrap from that model that's copied over for the first one, it'll overlap on top of what's already there on our UV unwrap for the entire model, uh, for entire model. And so we're essentially just copying, pasting, overlapping, and whatever we, we paint on this model is gonna happen to this model. And that's essentially, that is what we want. And it'll be coordinated correctly, meaning like this is the right, I mean, sorry, this is the left and this is the right. Uh, there won't be any issues in the way they're oriented or anything like that. So yeah, let's get started. Uh, hopefully I didn't confuse you too much with my wording, but if I did, let me show you the, let me show you the process and uh, you can be the judge if you're more confused or if you want me to redo this video and maybe give you a few extra examples. Uh, and I have no problem with that. Just, you know, leave a comment and let me know. All right, let's get started. All right, so we are gonna create our model, right? Um, let's go up, shift, sorry, edit mode. Let's create a few of these and add some loop cuts. Nice, okay. Uh, X-ray mode, three, and G. All right, and we're gonna do, sorry, why? All right. All right, so that is our object. Now let's go to tab, object mode. Let's bring it to this right, left side. Yeah, left side, our left side. Uh, and we're gonna mirror this. But remember, if you wanna mirror this across uh, each side, it has to be done correctly. So object over here, set origin to 3D cursor, and then we can apply our uh, mirror. So mirror, add bonifier over here, mirror. So now there we have it, all right. And now we are gonna do two things. Before we apply that modifier, because this is the scenario we're going with, uh, go to tab, edit mode, right? We're also gonna add a subdivision modifier. And we're gonna do some work. Tab, object, right? So it looks pretty good overall. Tab edit mode. Uh, control R. Okay. And now here. Go to seven. Right. G. 
gx, right? So we're gonna be able to tell, hey, like there, this is the right and this is the left side. They're mirror of each other. They have different orientations. So uh, it'll be easier to spot differences. All right. So we've created our objects and now by some miracle, um, we accidentally applied the mirror. So now what can we really do? We got to work on one of them and then work on the other. But again, we're not going to do that. We're going to just transfer the UVs. Uh, and remember, when you transfer UVs, your objects have to be to an extent the same. They also have to have the same resolution. So if like, let's say we had split these objects before without adding the subdivision, uh, we need to add that before we do the UV transfer. So uh, let's add that now, right? Then go to tab and edit mode, select it, P by lose, by selection. So now tab, object mode, now we have two different parts. All right, and then object, set origin, uh, origin to geometry, and the same to the, for this guy, set origin, origin to geometry. Okay, now let's do our UV unwrap for this one. Uh, tab, edit, we have to first do our, what do call, our seam. So there's going to be this part and that part. Shift control. See? As you can see, we're going to have to make the scene for this one, but again, we're not doing that. We're going to transfer UV, so all this extra work is going to go to this guy. All right, and then go to edit mode, select A. We're going to do U, UV unwrap, but remember, we also have to do all this other extra stuff. So, shade editor, go up. This one already has a material, so great. We don't have to added but if you did you'd go down here to add the material shift a image texture right here oh gotta split this sorry this one's gonna be pretty long unfortunately uh uv editor All right and you see our uv unwrap it is ugly new over here 20, 10, 24, 10, 24 is fine. UV grid. And all right, okay. Uh, and go to the side over here. Make sure this is on so that you see the little squares, but they're not going to be done yet. All right, press A, U, UV unwrap. And now you have one side and the other. So you're all good. Um, Okay, so imagine that this is filled with lots and lots of other um, UV parts and we don't want to go back to this part, make the UV unwrap for it and then add everything together because yeah, like we can pack it, but we might have overlapping and we don't want to avoid that. So we are going to do the UV transfer. So tab object mode All right we're going to select this part first then this second part oh sorry shift uh, control All right shift selected then press oh not m but l oh control l and do 
Trafford. Mesh data. Oh, copy UV maps here. And unfortunately, it did not work as intended, not as well as it could be. So tab, edit mode, object, tab, edit mode. And as you can see, it did pretty much do the same thing. So that's great. There's some distortions here, but we're not sure why that happened. Uh, but we'll leave it alone now. But at least you can see, hey, we can transfer the UVs from one object to another, but they have to be the pretty much the same object, just in a different angle or orientation with the same relative, meaning same subdivision or something. Um, okay. So then tab, object mode, let's select these both. Tab, edit mode, then A. And as you can see, they are, they have the same UV unwrap. They're literally just overlapped on top of one another. And this is fine. It's because they're literally the same object and whatever we paint over one is gonna happen to the other one. And that's what we want. And it doesn't matter what orientation they're at. We're gonna paint them the same. So then now let's go ahead and do that. So click this, delete, shift A image new color goes to white UV grid goes to blank and oh sorry color goes to base color tab object mode right and so then now we can do our texturing we've Thankfully, I've already done our UV unwrapping and our UV transfer, which is great. And it works. We showed it works. Remember, I can do another one of these if I'm not doing well. And if I'm not uh, explaining it right, just let me know. Uh, I am also new to this, too. All right. All right. So we got our texture here. Uh, and we are going to select tab, texture, paint. We're going to pick a different color. And so now whatever we do to one side, because they're overlapped, is going to happen to the other. So, oh, sorry, we're filling with paint. See? It's, well, pretty much all good. I don't know what happened over here with the tr UV transfer but I will get back to you and see if, what we can do to fix this. But as you can see, yeah, like whatever we do to the original, uh, because the UV unwraps are overlapped in the same image texture, they're gonna happen to the other end. That will save you so much time. So uh, please take this into consideration when you're doing your models and you have repeated uh, model pieces, this can save you, you yeah, know, just time. All right, and like you can see this, there's some little white spots. If you want to fix that, you can either fix it here or you can fix it over here. So go to image, actually go to image editor here, change it from UV editor to paint, view paint. Oh, that's weird. View, yeah, view, paint. Oh, there it is, okay. And then we get rid of those white spots. It works great here, but again, it's not working great over here, and we're not sure why. But if we want to figure it out, I'll remake this video and let you know. All right, until next time, hope this helps. Remember, this is uh, taking one one piece tra and transferring the UV unwrap to the same piece just in a different orientation or so forth and just saving yourself time overlapping the UV unwrap 
over the other UV unwrap and making it on the texture so that whatever you do to, so whatever you do to that one piece this also happens to the other and that's exactly what you want now let's say that you don't want this to happen uh don't do this then <laughs> that's pretty much it because you know sometimes you want that piece to be uh different a different uh color different color paint sorry different texture whatever and that makes sense but if it's all going to be the same this is definitely the way you should go and sorry for babbling on i'm a little nervous all right until next time and uh thanks for listening